And as you exhale, allowing the shoulders to come down and away from the ears. Allow your body to feel heavy in the chair. Letting that chair support you. And taking another breath, a slow inhale. Pause for just a moment at the top and then a slower exhale as you allow your forehead to smooth. Maybe a gentle smile comes to your lips as you fully relax and open yourself up to this moment. Closing your eyes if that feels safe to you or just lowering your gaze, maybe looking at a spot right before you whatever feels most comfortable. But allowing yourself for these few moments to be anchored by your breath, that breath of life, that breath of spirit. And so we breathe in again, allowing your tummy to expand Taking a moment just to pause at the top and a slow, slow exhale so that there's only the breath that goes in, that pauses, that exhales. We let go of anything that came before this moment. There's only this breath. We let go of anything that is happening later after church, our to-do lists. We let those go as we focus on the next breath, this breath, breathing in. Pausing and slowly exhaling. We give thanks for the breath that breathes us. As we begin to become aware of the eyes behind the eyes, the presence within, spirit within, our true selves. We allow ourselves to be the observers of the breath. And in the observing, we can allow our hearts to open just a little bit more than even a moment ago, opening to receive whatever it is that spirit, divine love, whatever message it has for us today. But always being anchored in the now moment with the breath. Our minds may wander, and that's okay, that's what minds do. We just allow ourselves to come back to the breath coming in and pausing and the breath going out. In the anchoring of the breath, we also begin to feel gratitude. Grateful for this moment. Grateful for moments like this. As we remind ourselves that at any time we can tap back into this present now moment. With the anchoring of the breath coming in and going out. And as our breath finds its own perfect rhythm and our heart opens wider, as gratitude fills us, we allow ourselves to bring in into this space of love, 
prayer and blessings, anything that may be weighing on our hearts or minds or those of our loved ones. We bless those who have been affected by Hurricane Helene. In the power of this love consciousness, we bless those around the world who may have a heavy heart or mind, and we send them peace and loving kindness wherever they may be. And then we come back to ourselves, wrapping ourselves in a blanket of prayer. knowing that that consciousness of Christ, the consciousness of our divine higher selves is what is present in this moment and in every moment. And so we take a moment just to sit in the silence, to listen to what it is our higher self has to say for us today. Opening our hearts and listening. And then we become aware again of the breath. And we give thanks for the breath that breathes us. And we take a moment to remind ourselves that even when life gets busy, that we can return to the breath that anchors us to our true self, our spiritual divine nature. And so becoming more aware of the chair that's been supporting you. Maybe wiggling your fingers, your toes, or moving your head from side to side as you take a more conscious breath, as you become even more aware of the room and the people. But before returning fully, just blessing yourself in this time, this gift of this now moment, of the silence. And when it is right for you, singing Lord's Prayer and gently opening your eyes as we give thanks for moments like these, as we say, Amen. Amen.